Kira and North Gators, as I've been ringing around talking to people recently, it's clear that a lot of people are finding this lockdown harder than previous ones. Maybe it's because the government keeps on moving the date for a drop down in levels. Maybe it's because there seems no clear plan when things will be able to return to relative normal. So rather than being super spiritual this morning, I thought I'd just talk about four things we can do to help keep ourselves sane during this lockdown. First, remember to lean into God. You are not alone. God is with you and nothing can separate him from those he loves. So that's you. You know, it's strange that when we get out of routine, important things like our quiet times and prayer can often lapse or become less frequent. But now more than ever, we need to be spending time with God. So at the beginning of every day or at night, if you're a night person, commit to spending at least a few minutes meditating on a scripture and in prayer. You know, let the knowledge of his love and grace encourage your soul and mind. Grab hold of the special and great promises of the Bible. And remember that our joy is found in him, not in our circumstance. Two, stay connected with people. God made us for community, and every health professional will tell you maintaining healthy relationships with people we trust is essential for our mental well-being. So think about how you can stay in touch with friends and family while needing to stay at home. You know, even though we can't visit people physically in their homes, commit to ringing or video calling a friend or a family member or, or someone from church at least once every couple of days. You know, it's normal to feel a bit worried, scared and frustrated about the current situation. But remember, it's okay to share your concerns with others you trust. And, and doing so may actually help them as well. Also, take the time to ring some non-Christian friends. People's spiritual instincts and questions get triggered in moments like these. A world struggling with sickness and death needs both the hope of the resurrection and the power of a God who suffers with them. The appetite for the gospel has been whetted like it hasn't been in years. Look for opportunities to share with others the good news of Jesus and the peace that only our Prince of Peace brings. Three, keep a healthy lifestyle. I know it's a challenge. Three of the best things you can do when under stress are to get plenty of sleep, eat healthy, and get exercise. So okay, the gym is shut. So you may need to get creative, but the weather is warming up and taking a walk, going for a bike ride, going for a run and enjoying God's creation will make you feel so much better. And finally, have some fun. When you feel yourself beginning to fray or you're feeling a bit down, give yourself permission to take some time out to do something you really enjoy. Dive into a good book. Watch a funny YouTube or TikTok video. Play some board games with your family. Or if you're like me, try a new barbecue recipe. You know, within my own family, my wife has taught our cat to sit like a dog and to do a high five for a treat. Who knows what you will be able to do. And finally, remember, this isn't going to last forever. You know, one of the most common phrases in the Bible is that it came to pass. In fact, it's mentioned 428 times to be exact. Remember, summer is just around the corner and we will soon be enjoying long sunny days and hopefully barbecues again and drinking coffee in the foyer at church and discussing the quality of the morning's message. This time will pass. So God bless and remember that it is in him we find our hope and our reason for being. God be with you all, Jonathan.